So, hello everyone, this is Daniel again from doityourselfoptics.com We are going to do a bit of lasering with thermal imaging um, So, what we have here in the middle is, the, is my usual uh, metal shim, uh, aluminium shim uh, which is uh, uh, black coated um, and um, we have here on the side a thermal camera um, uh, looking at, at this uh, piece of metal uh, we will do with the laser a, a little ellipse uh, we are going around uh, uh, the ellipse with 10 millimeters per second um, at uh, 180 kilohertz and maximum power so that's 20 watts uh, for this laser and then uh, we will do this three times uh, to see the effects, uh, how the how the plate uh, heats up, and how locally it heats up around the spot. Um, this is a 120 nanosecond uh, laser, um, pulsed uh, fiber laser. So we expect uh, a lot of thermal effects. Um, yeah, um, if you want to avoid this effect, which is mostly the case. Uh, in most applications you can you can go uh, for you can use shorter pauses the shorter pauses will, will reduce these thermal effects and somewhere at uh, 0 0.5 nanoseconds or, or below let, let's say 100 picoseconds uh, so 0 0.1 nanoseconds uh, these thermal effects are getting negligible but of course these kind of lasers uh, 100 picoseconds 20 picosecond lasers are still very expensive so um, it's kind of hard to avoid these, these effects uh, without spending uh, a lot of money I mean 100 picosecond laser um, if you get it from China let's say uh, it starts at 15,000 just the laser so um, yeah and, um, and uh, all the uh, US or, or European models which are of course more reliable and, and easier to use um, these go for about hundred thousand dollars so um, yeah that's definitely not an option here for us um, so I would say let's go on and uh, do this do this test um, after the ellipse we'll also do a little a uh, little bit of a hatch in the middle it's gonna be like a little square um, in three times um, with simply uh, 20 microns uh, uh, hatch yeah uh, we will see if, if there's any difference in the in the effect. So I would say I would turn on the uh, fume extraction and we go on and uh, check how this uh, how this behaves. Yep. So The reflections from the reflections uh, from uh, from this uh, metal shim that, that there's a uh, quite a bit of deformation uh, during the processing. So if you want to avoid these kind of deformations or you know, make it uh, less um, and local, you should probably um, uh, do a much faster uh, processing so that the that the beam is. Uh, kind of heating the whole plate or the whole contour even uh. Thermal imaging, what it looks like. 